To all the aspiring software engineers and coders out there, get ready to have your dreams crushed. Audio files belonging to Matt Garman, Amazon's Web Services CEO, just got leaked. And what he said will disappoint millions of students and recent grads. Matt's role oversees all of Amazon's cloud operations, which is heavily software intensive. So it's crucial that you watch this entirely because it's likely to have a direct effect on the current job market and how aspiring software engineers could be packing up their laptops to find another field to work in. 2024 is not for the weak. Fresh computer science graduates thought they'd be earning up to six figures by now since that's what they were promised. Unfortunately, the universe had other plans in store for them. These days, even senior level positions are challenging to get. Companies are asking way too much from someone with hardly any experience. Fresh grads are expected to have like a million internships and a solid portfolio to land a job when recruiters should just consider their education and skills. After examining LinkedIn job postings, we found that the average number in January 2024 required a minimum experience requirement of four and a half years. And yes, that's for entry level jobs. Even valedictorians are having a hard time in this mess. Imagine working so hard to get that GPA, getting all those extracurriculars and making the most of that college life just to get hit with unrealistic experience requirements. So what's the reason? Why did this so-called safe career pick lose its reliability? Well, it all started during the pandemic. Back when the virus had everyone in a chokehold, quite literally, there was a massive need for remote workers. Now, some employees, such as engineers, doctors, mechanics, and even cashiers, can't really do their jobs at home. On the other hand, software developers and coders just needed a laptop and fast Wi-Fi companies from all over the world were hiring these guys like crazy. Engineers who didn't even go to college and learned the basics of coding from online boot camps and YouTube videos were earning enough to support their families, all in the comfort of their own bedrooms and living rooms. However, this aggressive overhiring during that time was bound to backfire. After the lockdown, people returned to the office and consumer demand for internet services fell. This makes sense, because when we were stuck at home, our lives depended on the internet. Once the restrictions were lifted and people slowly returned to their everyday lives in the real world, it was only a matter of time before many internet services suffered a downturn. You can probably imagine what happened next. The only option companies had was to lay off software engineers. In 2023, there were 262,000 layoffs in the IT sector, 60% more than in the previous year. You know the last time something as big as this happened? The answer is in 2001, when the dot-com bubble burst and the stock market crashed. We're basically witnessing a repeat of something that happened over two decades ago. So students applying to colleges between 2018 and 2020 saw that software engineers were living the life and thought, hey, why shouldn't I join in on the fun? Unfortunately, this was what the golden era of computer science majors looked like. Many people believe that era is over and that it's only going downhill from now on. This doesn't mean that there are absolutely zero jobs out there. The world still very much needs software engineers. The demand has just significantly decreased. Something else working against would-be software engineers is the super competitive market. Some companies still offer their employees the opportunity to work remotely, which means there aren't any geographical constraints to apply anymore. This, of course, means that the competition is super high. You could be competing against a record-breaking prodigy, and you wouldn't even know it. While a tiny percentage of software developers were finding the job of their dreams, the rest were trying to adapt to a loss of income and a looming recession. Sadly, we can thank over a year of lockdowns for that. Speaking of adapting to the new world, one more thing makes this fight for a job many times worse. Artificial intelligence, a coder's nightmare that has come to life. The idea that AI will replace a software engineer's job isn't a strange concept to a lot of people. It's probably the most talked about concern in the modern era. But get this, even someone like the CEO of Amazon Web Services thinks so too. Matt Garman predicted that the future of this career is in jeopardy and only a few will make it out alive. He also said this about his own workers, which was captured in a leaked audio recording acquired by Business Insider. Garman said in an internal meeting, if you go forward 24 months from now or some amount of time, I can't exactly predict where it is. It's possible that most developers are not coding, which came at quite a shock. Artificial intelligence will replace several software developer positions at Amazon Web Services, and those remaining will have just two years to adapt and learn everything they need to know about AI. 
He also noted that software developers must innovate and update their skill sets to cater to the developing artificially intelligent world. He continued, employees should simply tune in to what the customer needs and the actual end game the company aims to build because that's going to be more and more of what the work is as opposed to sitting down and actually writing code, said Garmin. This essentially means that roles within the company will be adjusted to tailor the product vision or direction it needs to go. In essence, people are going to be required to understand the technology and be keenly aware of customer needs to drive the business moving forward. If you put things in perspective, companies actually do need AI. The world runs on technology and software development is crucial in our daily lives. Everyday apps like WhatsApp, Uber, Spotify, LinkedIn and Instagram all have lines and lines of code written by people on their laptops. According to Amazon's CEO, their AI assistant, Amazon Q, has saved them over $260 million and 4,500 years of development. Yes, 4,500 years. See, AI isn't just writing prompts on ChatGPT and getting a full essay for your school assignments. Software developers and companies have been using this glorious tool to save on costs and time. To all the tech nerds out there, upgrading to Java 17 is a pretty long process, right? 50 days of development to be exact. Want to know how much time an AI tool takes? A few hours. Many developers are scared of AI and how it will replace them in the future. So the smart thing to do is learn how to work around it. Amazon Services has realized that at their core, AI assistants serve as force multipliers for software development and engineering teams. As a coder, there are a lot of lines of code that need to be written a couple of times again and again. Imagine how much time you'd save if you let an AI assistant do all that tedious work for you. This also gives the employer more time to focus on more complicated tasks. Because truth be told, the life of a software developer is not easy. What Garmin said about people needing to find other jobs jobs in two years, a lot of developers found funny because they already knew their fate. Many of them said that Garmin isn't even a software engineer and people on Reddit say that he probably doesn't even know the ABCs of coding. People know they must adapt to the new world and work with continuously developing AI tools and assistants. All of this adds up to good news for the developers out there looking for jobs. I mentioned how jobs on LinkedIn asked for four and a half years of experience at entry level in January 2024, right? Well, it looks like companies have realized their faults and toned it down to just two years of experience. Experience. Of course, this is still unrealistic and difficult to achieve when graduates aren't even getting internship opportunities, but the significant decrease from four and a half years to just two years of experience is like a breath of fresh air for new computer science majors. The brilliant thing about tech is that it's constantly changing and humans are always needed to work on the newer things. Who do you think designed the first AI tool, another robot? Nope. So there is still hope for some. Suppose you're a computer science major about to graduate. Sound advice would be to polish your skills to appeal to today's tech world more appropriately. AI is such a large field that there are a bunch of sublets to choose from when looking to improve your skills. What are your thoughts on AI taking over software developer jobs in two years? Is Matt Garman right or does he not know what he's talking about? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button to see more content like this.